Shanta. He works on the Skarowi Railway. He is usually very ill and sometimes very lazy. When two engines from the National Coal Board were bought in the 1980s, their parts were taken out and together they made one new engine. Fred. He was very ill in his first days at the Skarowi Railway. He had learned to become lazy and was lazy from then on. Fred usually broke down. Once he broke down, Rusty came to help him. Today, it was the Skarowi Engine Special Day and they were all being painted to look like they were in the television series. Rusty was annoyed they had to come to rescue Fred. Meanwhile, Mighty Mac was struggling up a hill. They were arguing about who, were pu- who was pulling the hardest and who was putting his brakes on. None of them were putting their brakes on, but they were having a very hard time with two full coaches. They g- it's not my fault, it's yours. No, Mighty, it's definitely your fault. But they couldn't take the strain of the train, and soon they rolled down the hill. They rolled down the hill pretty fast and were surprised when they came to a sudden stop. They didn't know that they had bumped into Rusty and Fred. Mighty Mac didn't realize that their, their train had coupled on to Fred and Rusty. Rusty didn't notice either. Both sides started pulling. Not again, said Mighty. Rusty was confused. He didn't know how the train was so heavy. Come on, said Rusty. Fred's wheels started wobbling. Stop, he cried, but Rusty didn't hear. It was a tug of war between Rusty and Mighty Mac. Fred didn't like this at all. They sanded down the rails in front of Rusty, and they sanded down the rails in front of Mighty Mac. The engines started pulling with all their might. Fred didn't like this. He shut his eyes. Ooh, I'm coming apart! I'm coming apart! Neither Rusty or Mighty Mac heard this. Fred's will started wobbling. He started shaking. Then Fred came apart. Rusty's driver saw what happened. <coughs> he went up, he went for help and stopped Mighty Mac. Soon the team controller arrived in the car. Now look what you've done to yourself, Fred. But sir, no excuses. You are not useful to my railway, or the company, or the TV show. You will not be repaired. And he drove away. Then you you want that meant.
The next day, Fred's remains were loaded onto a flatbed. And drove away. With lots of engines watching. And he joined his ancestors in the scrapyard.